First from us tonight at 10, a local funeral home director in jail tonight being held without bond. The arrest happening in dramatic fashion at the Heritage Memorial Garden Cemetery in Pritchard after three bodies were exhumed. Investigators discovering improper burial practices. Our lead back on the story tonight, Lee investigators indicating based on their findings, there could possibly be more arrests. Well, that's right, Byron and Shelby. More charges and more arrests likely. That's according to Captain Paul Birch. Now, this is a very sensitive case, but the man behind bars here tonight in Metro Jail says he's innocent. The search for answers has Mobile County Sheriff's investigators going grave to grave. Old wounds reopen for loved ones as three bodies are exhumed from Heritage Memorial Gardens in Pritchard. Family members rejoicing as funeral home director Joseph Jojo Bonner is arrested for two counts of abuse of a corpse. Oh, thank you, Jesus. They get a lot of money. Bonner's arrest coming after more than a month of investigation into illegal operations, caskets allegedly being dug up and reused, and people not being buried where they were supposed to be, something he adamantly denied to Fox 10 last month. I just want this cleared. I can't, I can't get, nobody will call me to bury their loved one if you telling them that I go to the graveyard and get caskets out the grave. They need to correct this. This is wrong. Among those waiting for answers, the family of Tito Smith buried here back in April. What kind of questions do you, does your family have? None of that ain't got no concern to me right now. I want to know if he in that grave. That's what I want to know. Of the three graves exhumed, investigators found two of them not to be sealed properly and issues with embalming. Because it was not sealed, uh, there's standing water uh, that's in the vaults, there's water in the caskets, and um, there's less than eight inches of dirt on, on top of them. The industry standard is two feet. There's no set standard on how much embalming fluid you need to use. I, I, I will say in these cases, there was a very minimal amount used, and that's why you're smelling human decomposition. And it's, it's, you know, there's no other smell like that. The findings unearthed, striking a nerve with District Attorney Ashley Rich, personally calling Metro to deny bond. Justice has been done. We ain't through yet. Meanwhile, others are standing by the other man at the center of the controversy, the funeral home CEO, Cedric McMillan. Fasting and praying that the truth, that the truth Nothing but the truth. Now, there are many questions surrounding the legalities of that cemetery. Those questions will likely come up tomorrow night at Pritchard City Council. Live tonight from Metro Jail, Lee Peck, Fox 10 News.